P thanks now to new concerns tonight about Lyme disease in our area. The state health department says this is such a big problem that calling it an endemic affecting seven counties, including Jefferson, Shelby, Tuscaloosa and Calhoun. So what does this mean for you? Josh can joins us live with what these ticks could be doing to us here, Josh. Yeah, hey there, Jonathan, if you're walking through the woods or some tall grass like this, be on the lookout for ticks. They're about the size of sesame seeds, and now we're told they're spreading throughout uh, some of Alabama's most populated counties. One of the things we've done recently, state health officer Dr. Donald Williamson sent this letter to a number of health care providers warning them a Lyme disease endemic is in at least seven Alabama counties. In our viewing area, Calhoun, Jefferson, Shelby and Tuscaloosa counties are seeing an increase in the tick borne disease. We're told in order for an endemic, there must have been at least two confirmed cases within the county. There's no evidence that you, you're ever free of the bacteria. We spoke with Kevin Wolf through Skype from Montgomery. Wolf's son had Lyme disease for a few years. He still has residual effects. Wolf says it took some time for doctors to diagnose his son because he says doctors told him Lyme doesn't exist in Alabama. In the wake of that, Wolf started the Alabama Lyme Disease Association. Wolf says Williamson's letter is a good step in the right direction of warning about a disease that is more common than you might think. I think that, that's the first major hurdle we have to get over is for physicians to understand that it's a problem here yeah. and, and not to go off an obvious um, case of Lyme disease just based on the misconception that we don't have it here. Now, some symptoms include chills, fever, joint, and uh, muscle pain, and stiff neck. Health officials tell me the reason that Lyme disease is often misdiagnosed is because those symptoms often mimic a number of other illnesses. Locally here at DCH uh, Medical Center, we're told 30 people over the past year have been uh, have had uh, uh, Lyme disease-like symptoms uh, showing up to that hospital. That'll do it for now. We're in Tuscaloosa. I'm Josh Scant, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side. Josh.